what's going on guys my name is flex i appreciate you clicking this video today i got a really solid lead for you if you enjoy taking photography even if you don't enjoy taking pictures this one is with zillow is their photographer unit so you take pictures of buildings and you post them online so people can see the houses that they want to buy so the base pay for this one real quick getting out of the way is six to six thousand dollars according to Glassdoor, but you can make as much as eighty thousand dollars a year now this is a really solid opportunity especially for my folks who have been commenting talking about they want to see jobs that you can work remotely or part-time or at your own schedule so i'm really excited about this one primarily because not only is it flexible in the sense that you can work when you want but the one that we're going to look at you can do 10 between 10 to 20 hours and you can work pretty much at your own schedule so you can do your full time and this as a part-time or do this as a part-time in multiple locations and equivalent to a full-time or multiple job so this is a really exciting opportunity with zillow and let's take a look at it real quick so like with every opportunity that i post on this channel the link is going to be down in the description so when you come on zillow you want to click current openings right here and it's going to take you to this portal that they have all the job postings posted so the one we're going to be looking at like i said it's a photographer showtime and we're just going to look at this one in baltimore real quick but I'm just going to show you that they have these positions available pretty much across the United States. So this is one right here in Washington, Seattle, Washington, I believe. And this one right here in Oklahoma. And this is all remote positions. I'm just going to look at the one in Baltimore real quick. Now, typically, I show you tips of which you can use to make your resume more appealing to these hiring managers. But these positions, if you were to click apply now, you would not have the opportunity or the option to upload your resume like in a traditional setting but rather you will be asked to show your portfolio so what you have done in the past but don't fret if you are looking at this and you're like dang that disqualifies me they actually will train you and in addition there are countless tiktok accounts out there that you can use to learn how to do photography for home this is really really something that you can do not only as a full-time job but as a side hustle so this one, like we said it's a photographer showtime uh in in baltimore maryland it's fully remote and going into the world really they said this is a part-time position and they anticipate that photographers in this role will typically work between 10 to 20 hours per week depending on your location and business needs so in this time when business as far as the housing business is really really in demand right now you can find yourself working some good hours so maybe even more than 20 hours photographers will occasionally be expected to work more than 20 hours to meet the high demand while this is a part-time position there's more opportunities for full-time employment in the future as the business grows so if you're taking pictures if you're somebody who is good with cameras or not, let's look exactly into what they require or what you're going to be doing. So as a photographer shooting Showtime Plus and our listing media services, you will capture still photos, 3D photos and drone images for sale property. So if you've ever been to Zillow.com, for example, this is exactly what you're going to be doing. So this house is on sale for $160,000. Look at this photo in exquisite photo very beautiful photo so this is a two bright mls that they're gonna teach you we're gonna look at that in a second on how to use how to upload your photo but the detail and the composition is something that intrigues if i would have been looking to buy this house and it just looks good everything looks really neat so this is something that you're going to be doing of course taking pictures to the outside making sure that there's enough light it's in the daytime um it's you know summertime there's flowers and it's just a good photography you know of coming in the house looking from the other point of view into the living room getting a bright overview of the space and the composition making sure that everything is really placed nicely you know what i mean so going into hopefully they have a land uh portrait photos maybe not so much for a house i don't know these things but this is incredible photos of the kitchen and the home so this is something that you're going to be looking at doing as a product as a photographer for a home and uploading to zillow so people can see for prospective buyers so let's stay here still photography that is what we just looked at but sometimes when you go to buy a house you see 3d photos and people can you know click through and it simulate them walking through the house so it was very very common especially during the pandemic when people couldn't go into houses to look at 3d photos and people still do it i still look at photos 3d photos or tours when i'm looking at homes on zillow so you can also use a drone imagery 
And if you have a drone, that will make your chances of getting this job all the more stronger. So you will also use cutting edge photography technology to create captivating, rich media experiences and help home sellers and real estate agents market their home in the best light. So the best lighting possible. You will innovate. You will innovate the home buying process by providing the media experience customers what when shopping from home. So this role has been categorized as a remote position, like we said. The remote employee does not have a permanent corporate office or workspace, but instead work from a physical location of their choice. This one is in Baltimore, Maryland. You're gonna be doing some traveling. So employees may live in any of the 50 states with limited exception. In certain cases, an employee in a remote designated job may need to live in a specific region or time zone to support customers or clients as part of their role. This one, like we said, is in Baltimore. It helps if you're in Baltimore that way you're not traveling from far to take photos. But in any state, the 50 states in the United States, they have these positions like we just looked at. If you're an experienced photographer with a talent for capturing high quality images, you will succeed in this position preferably in real estate photography. If you're somebody with excellent customer service and professional business communication skills, you'll be great. So you'll be hanging with, you know, clients and, you know, real realtors on a daily basis. It's a fast, detail-oriented position. So if you have those skills to be able to work fast and be able to be detail-oriented, you will succeed in this position. If you're punctual, that also very much helps. So these are real estate agents. They want to come in, take these photos and go to the next location. So you can't be saying, hey, I'm 15 minutes late when they're ready to open the door and, you know, take the, you take the photo. So if you're an independent worker and comfortable working solo, you will also succeed in this position. So what are the requirements, right? The ability to learn Showtime Plus processes and computer system. Now, this is the system that like we said, like Bright MLS, that they're going to teach you on how to use so like uploading the photos and making the descriptions and different things like that they will teach you so that's the showtime plus processes and computer system if you can learn it they will teach you if you can if you are experienced capturing high quality photography preferably exteriors and exterior real estate photos 3d tours and drone photography that is something that is required of you if you have that experience like i said you can learn this on TikTok. You can learn this on YouTube. This YouTube, I've seen YouTube channels that you can learn these things on. FAA Part 107 certifications for drone work is preferred. That way you have the licenses and you don't get shut down when you're trying to fly a drone in a commercial or real estate environment and people asking you, hey, do you have a license to fly that? If you possess a valid driver license and access to reliable personal vehicle or business transportation that is required and if you have access to reliable internet upload speeds that is also very helpful because you're going to be uploading photos so if you have a dslr camera with the ability to shoot in a e b mode and a wide angle lens and it's an example like canon or you know different things like that or kind of the one that i have behind this webcam that will very much help you or oh, iphone as well if you can use iphone or that new galaxy s23 that will also be very very good this is only preferred requirements or equipments but if you have them that will all the more increase your chances a rico or insta 360 3d camera i don't know if you've seen the insta 360 camera but it's one that i actually want myself or a drone or internal video equipment to capture that 360 and everything in 1080p 60 frames per second this is a very, very easy job to do. It's one that, like I said, you can do in between 10 to 20 hours. It's one that you can do part time remotely anywhere in the United States. You can travel with it. I think it's an exciting opportunity and the pay is pretty good. We've looked at $66,000 to base pay and upwards of $80,000. Definitely check the Glassdoor account out. If we look at reviews, I typically like to look at the approval of the ceo and 62 percent of people approve the ceo like i said this is a solid opportunity taking photos for homes and uploading them and getting paid only working between 10 to 20 hours i know you can do it and it's available across the united states so let me know how you enjoy this one let me know if you're applying if you have worked for zillow before if you've taken photos for homes before as a photographer if you enjoy watching this one i enjoyed making it so thank you for watching hit the like button that way the algorithm can spread this video i really appreciate y'all watching my videos and checking this channel if you're into content like this it's making money keeping it and growing it i make videos like that as well as remote work definitely subscribe to the channel and i'm gonna see you on the next one peace